thought your face was on fire. <laughs> My face! Then you need Redifin.
created the planet you're standing on. Yeah, and I made the stars that became the carbon in your mother's ovaries. the resistance. This is a fillet of vegetarian fed Chinese dissident and a cauliflower puree. Please enjoy.
different places, even just mentally right. or musically, that's real special. And this whole thing of highways, people have been writing about it and, you know, dreaming about it. There's Route 66, where does it take you? A new life, you know, dreams. Uh, the feeling of being free is something human beings yearn for. And that is what's going to drive people to, you know, unfolding their, getting hip to the scene and unfolding their full potential.
people were following this llama like they're the paparazzi, it must be a celebrity llama. It's gotta be. It looks like it's getting fed up. too soft. I think it's way too easy to stay alive, and I think we've never, ever had that in human history. And I think that we're overbreeding because of it at a ridiculous rate, and I think there's a bunch of people out there that have no business fucking and or having kids. Well, you just turned very serious. I'm fucking serious. <laughs> I think it's not their fault. It's no one's fault. It's no one's fault. It's just the cycle that we're in. We're in a, a cycle of safety. We're in a cycle of safety. That's what, we're in a cycle of recreational outrage. People are getting outraged at things that don't make any sense. The reason why? There's no life-threatening fucking situations that are constantly at your door. There's no wolves. There's no fucking, nothing's going wrong. So we're, we're going after words. You can't say retard anymore. You know, don't say tranny. Don't, they're, 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 we're, we're getting outraged about shit that doesn't make any sense.
Me and my friends used to feed LSD to this little retarded girl in our neighborhood. Yeah. And we'd lock arms around her and go, Nightmare, 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 nightmare.
fabulous video. You've seen everything that's in there. You don't need to see it again. You're waiting for the next video that has the girl getting out of the car. Uh, midgets, uh, chains, stuff in the ear, stuff in the face, you know, weird hair, clothes, light coming at a weird angle, zippers. You, you've seen it, and you're ready for the next one. A record that relates to something that you feel inside you can listen to hundreds of times, and it means something to your life. Videos are disposable. They're as disposable as television commercials. In fact, that's what they are. They're four-minute television commercials for albums. And when you consider that a record company makes the bulk of the profit on a record, the artist does not. And you have a modern situation where the artist is being asked to not only bankroll the video and the uh, income of the station that plays the video, he's also bankrolling the record company. This stinks.
I'm not really a troll, okay? I just started as a Yelp reviewer and got sick of how stupid everyone's comments sounded. I just like messing with people because it was funny. It's not true. I've studied your work. You're one of the best trolls I've ever seen. First axiom is a well-known equation in online trolling. It's a way in which one person can create a massive reaction on the internet. Look, person A trolls person B, but it's not about person B. The troll is trying to push buttons to try and get a reaction from hundreds, eventually creating person C, whose overreaction and self-righteousness will elicit a reaction from person C through F, who weren't trolls but can't help rip on person C. You're just setting them against each other. It's like the fission reaction that sets off the fusion explosion. The internet does it all, and you just sit back with your glass of life and laugh.